traditional hand games commemorating a victorious moment. 50 years ago, 13 Yukon First Nations leaders presented a bold document in Ottawa. We are not here looking for a handout. We are here with a plan. Titled Together Today for Our Children Tomorrow, the document outlined how Yukon First Nations wanted to negotiate modern agreements with the Canadian government. The document laid the groundwork for negotiating land claim settlements that included self-government and compensation, a first in Canada. Fitting that Justin Trudeau is here in Whitehorse. Fifty years ago, uh, you came to visit my father in Ottawa. Um, you came for a historic meeting uh, about self-governance and the importance of that gesture which led to the successful negotiation of modern treaties goes so far beyond what you accomplished here for Yukon. Sam Johnston was part of the delegation. The message was that we wanted to rule our own lives. Trudeau and his his bunch we were very impressed with the Yukon document. The document described historic struggles, including the gold rush, the opening of the Alaska Highway, and the impact of residential schools. Steve Smith's late father, Elijah Smith, led the delegation. It was our people going, you know, we're, it's not about kicking everybody out and, and removing, um, you know, their, their history here, but just recognizing the fact that we want to have a say as well right, the, in, especially in the areas that affect us. Still, it took more than 20 years for the first agreement in Yukon to be signed, and three of Yukon's 14 First Nations are still negotiating. But the agreements that flowed out of the document guide much of the territory today, with First Nations at the table in all facets of life, including the creation of Yukon's First Nations School Board in 2020. Education is one of the most intimate points of influence we have in a society. Our ability to not only address reconciliation in a meaningful way, but to create resurgence. Celebrations will continue throughout the week, recognizing the profound effect that historic trip and document had on Yukon life and on land claim negotiations across Canada. Juanita Taylor, CBC News, Whitehorse.